What is up, you guys? It's Bolton 98 and in this video, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 Season 6. All the skins coming. We got so much news on Season 6 that I had to book this in two parts. The next part will be tomorrow, but today we're talking about all the skins. <laughs> That's right guys, season 6 is so big that I had to split it up in two parts. This will be all our skins that we will be getting for season 6. Make sure you hit that sub button though, 87.7% of you guys are not subscribed, while 12.4% 12 of you are. So I appreciate the 12.4, but let's hire that number if we can. And make sure you come back tomorrow so you can see all the map changes and mode changes that are coming within season 6. Right away, let's get into our season 6 battle pass. Al Simmons will be a playable skin operator coming to... Modern Warfare 2 Season 6, apparently Spawn is going to be broken up into two different type of operators. One being Spawn, one being Al Simmons. Obviously, players who purchase the Season 6 Battle Pass system will immediately unlock the Al Simmons operator, meaning that you get this operator right away as soon as you unlock it. Although Al Simmons is Spawn, he's not Spawn in the Battle Pass. So we will get two operators, one being Al Simmons and one being Spawn. And Spawn will actually have two styles, one being this style that you just saw. This will be your earlier on style that you get from the Battle Pass. He's more more of a tactical ready spawn and then unleash the hell with the mightiest spawn operator that you get after completing all 20 sectors of the battle pass and getting to tier 100 so yes yeah, spawn and al simmons are two separate operators not just one skin mix so they are two separate we also are going to be getting a burn spawn this is probably going to come in the item shop it is an al simmons skin or for the al simmons operator basically from the movie you see this he's burnt up and real bad looking but it is the al simmons skin now we will be getting into our other skins so first of all creepy clown this is one of the craziest ones because imagine seeing someone dolphin dive with that this is a skin for fendir i do believe that this one will be in the battle pass along with our next one that we're about to take a look at just because of the way it's laid out it looks like it would be like them previewing them from the battle pass the next one is a violator which is a koenig skin so i think they're gonna spawn on the pumpkins whenever they are battle pass skins like whenever you look at them in the battle sector and you hit showcase it'll look like this also we have disruptor which is a harangi or harangje skin i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce that to the best of my ability but you get the gist they do look super cool and i, I still can't get over the uh creepy clown skin that one gets me but then we also have soul crusher which i'm pretty sure is going to be a skin that you buy uh it is a skin for the operator vega or vega um, it looks super cool also, just kind of plainish, uh, nothing really unique or weird about it, just kind of in a gas mask, but it looks cool. Then we also get Nico Spawn. Now this one will probably be a battle pass, but it is Nico with a spawn mask and he kind of like represents spawn in his own way which is super cool and unique i really like that skin we will be getting a handful of new collab content including inarius and lilith from diablo both these will be operators that we buy in store obviously we know other ones that are coming but i have images of those now but lilith and arenas are going to be in the game also we have skeletor this is what his bundle is going to look like which looks really cool i really like how it looks um this is obviously just the art that will pop up in the store but based off that skin or what you can see it looks super cool and i cannot wait to get my hands on that one that's probably my favorite crossover that they're doing Again, being ash williams he will be getting his operator bundle like we've talked about in previous videos his skin looks actually really clean really cool obviously it doesn't look clean but it looks dirty but it looks very well put together i don't think that it would have passed without all the dirt and blood on him so i'm really happy with how this one turned out and it looks super cool i can't wait to see it in game our next one's going to be doom so this one's going to be a tracer pack and it comes with that chainsaw that chainsaw will actually be a playable weapon within call of duty so no we're not getting a skin Skin, but we are getting a shotgun with tracers and we are getting the chainsaw which is super cool our next one we don't have like uh what it would look like in store but it is alicord from helsing and this is him in game call of duty posted that the picture in their blog post but he does look super cool and i cannot wait to see these skins like in game dolphin diving especially in rank play i could just imagine how funny it's gonna look but i can't wait now into our new weapons so the doom operator bundle is actually like i said gonna come with the chainsaw this is the chainsaw and what it will look like again this is a photo posted from the call of duty blog post super cool but this is not the only melee weapon we will be getting we will also be getting another in the battle pass we will be getting the dual kamaras or kamas or karmas Anyways, these are basically ice picks that you will be using to um, basically 
kill people. They're just melees. They're probably going to work just like the dual Kadachis or something like that. In my head, we also be getting the ISO 9, which is an SMG that is coming. All three of these weapons, the melee, the SMG, and the AR I'm about to talk about are all dropping at launch date. So we have the dual commas melee, the ISO 9 millimeter SMG, and then the AR here, which looks super, super cool. I think it's called the tr 76 geest or geese but it looks super well um we don't see the bruin so we might not be getting that at all because i didn't see any type of news on the bruin uh so we might not be getting that lmg at all but hopefully this ar like kind of you know takes over and it's cool because i like seeing new weapons over uh brought back weapons any day in my opinion but guys make sure you come back for tomorrow's video when we talk about new maps we have four new maps two core uh, multiplayer 6v6 maps and two core gunfight maps we have two rewritten skins for halloween we have halloween modes we have zombies coming we have crazy new grenades in game events it's going to be fun and packed out so make sure you come back tomorrow so we can talk about that again i will see you in the next one please hit that sub button and like the video share it if you thought i deserved it if you have any feedback on the channel let me know down below and i'll see you in the next one peace